Hey guys, Ycoms here and welcome to the first online race uh, on this channel for F1 2016. This is an AOR social round Baku we did yesterday. I'm um, also going to talk a little bit about uh, league racing in general, how that race actually went. So if yeah, if you just want to see the footage, then I, I, well, I uploaded the full race and you can click there uh, on this link in the video uh, to see that. So yeah, here around Baku, and we, well this is uh, basically all about testing the online connection with 22 drivers, a full man with a full man lobby and also uh, trying out the full qualifying and uh, no, the simulation damage as well so um, let's see how the drivers <laughs> will cope with that and we're here in Q1 we're setting a 43.1 which puts us fifth at the moment and no one who got taken yes, out in Q1 actually set the time because they all um, destroyed their vehicles so I mean yeah Baku is uh, uh, as you may know is a street circuit and uh, some corners are very 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 tricky and especially coming up to this corner here this is one that's very tricky indeed you can overshoot that pretty easily and here now in Q2 on in the last sector on my Q2 lap actually missing the apex by quite a bit it doesn't really matter that we are doing that fast at the moment uh, well we should be um, comfortably going into Q3 uh, without many issues even though we are not really fast in the session as well like we earned in Q1 as well and we're going across the line with a 42.8 that's not impressive is it but uh, well we are in P3 at the moment and in P6 in the end uh, Tigger here is still uh, still in the lead with a 41.5. That's a, that, that's a very good lap already. And, uh, yeah, I mean some no names here as well in this session. AC, ACR Raven, you can see there. Awa Fizzy, Klewitzki, Ryan, L83 Kess, also known as Kerry Nolden. And uh, I think Mark FD who destroyed his vehicle in the first in the first qualifying session. But we're here in Q3 now, and uh, we were we are about to start our lap. As the first guy is already retiring for some reason. I think that's. I think yeah, because he destroyed, he destroyed his vehicle. But that's possibly on the from, uh, on the third. It has to be, had to be on the uh, out lap, as this is actually my first run, my only run, because I had to. Uh, I used two sets of tires in Q2 for um, because I was a little bit stupid. So we're here going into turn one. This lap really has to be a good one. Going into the first corner, good exit out of there, not hitting the apex by uh, not maxing out that corner. But this second corner was very, very good, very good exit out of there as well. And now onto the second DRS straight, also, I mean, quite a long straight. Not as long as the start finish straight, to be honest, but still, I mean. Now into turn three, ooh, turning a little bit too early and luckily not hitting the wall on the inside. That could have been catastrophic with the simulation down, just hit it, just hitting the balls tiny bit and your wheel is basically hanging the hanging in the air but uh, here we go then uh, finishing the first sector not the best corner exit out of there but it is a very very good uh, first split time 45.5 I guess and here we go into the very tricky castle station this is this is a um, very unique new part of the F1 calendar I have to say I enjoy, enjoy, enjoy driving it's very very challenging to max it out and really have to be confident around these corners to, in order to gain some time. Weren't quite on the limit there, I have to say. Now into this corner here, into second gear. Do not really want to touch the curb on the outside, but it didn't unsettle our car, which is good. And now around the final proper corner, basically. Although you you really don't want to underestimate these two corners, especially not in the race, because they can catch you out quite quickly. And yeah, it was a solid lap, I guess. Uh, definitely time to gain in the second sector there. And uh, Tika setting a 41.2, which is, I think, almost my PB, and we're setting a 41, 41.6, which is reasonable, I guess. And we're not going to set a second lap here. And we're, yeah, yeah, in P2, um, barely in front of Fugutaro, who's in P3, then ACR Raven in fourth, Klewitzki, then Fizzy. Ryan, Paul, yeah, yes, Stevie and Micro Leather with, no, with the only one setting no time in that Q3 session. So yeah, um, here we go on then to the formation lap. Uh, 
accelerating a little bit late and we're getting <laughs> I think Raven was a little bit surprised there that we did, they didn't go off the line but uh, well we go both uh, get teleported back to our grid slot and we can't really yeah do the formation lap now but, um, we will just wait for the others to come around um, yeah, and of course that will um, take a little bit of time because they were you know, this is a pretty long lap around Baku but anyway you know skipping to the race start and the I mean, with this man, with these manual slots, it will be quite tricky as well. I'll be trying to concentrate as much as possible to n do not miss the light and do not jump to start. And they're getting a very good initial launch, better than Tika on the right hand side. I think it was a, um, almost doing a jump start there, and then he got uh, off the throttle a little bit, but he's holding it around the outside, and we're not um, oh. keeping it with him. We're just uh, letting him go because I mean, this is a test race, really not everything about you just racing and racing and going on full attack here just to test online connection and I mean as I said in my first thoughts video um, for me online connection has you been uh, very good so far of course the cars are a little bit jumping back and forwards like they were in 2015 but not as much and lag or lag You're bubbles out. were not that much as uh, not that uh, significant as well except you're hitting some cars and they don't really think you're hitting them uh, they, they, well they say you don't hit them and uh, you actually hit them just a tiny bit but that's um, I think the only thing I noticed so far that wasn't really good and apart from one or two mass disconnections we had but here we go then in this social way so we're pulling away from F Fugotaro uh, behind us but we can't really keep it with Tigger as we had a very bad exit out of that uh, castle section and there was also, um, a, in the weather forecast, there was um, slight rain predictions towards well, the end, but that doesn't really mean that the rain comes uh, in time to switch on to either media tires, but there was um, a slight forecast of rain. But I actually forgot that at this moment. I think it was, it, it, uh, I think it was noticed, uh, I was noticing it um, while editing my pit strategy, but uh, I just forgot it while racing now. And here we go then, round the final, uh, round the, well that was the first lap, already out of the arrest range of Tigger in front, as expected he's uh, pulling away. And also I have to say I'm a little bit more cautious than I usually would be because simulation damage is of course, uh, we, we have to be respectful with this because one tiny mistake, especially on a circuit like this where the walls are pretty uh, close on some occasions, especially here turn 3 after the second uh, DRS straight, or a castle oh, section yeah. or um, that corner after the, the, that breaking zone after the castle section also these uh, fast flowing corners in the third sector so there are a couple of um, very tricky occasions here to manage a Baku with uh, not hitting walls we are underestimating that those corners quite um, easily I guess and we're already only 17 people so three people already <laughs> dropped out I guess we start with 20 because two already disconnected or better better said they right. I think they pulled out or the uh, their internet wasn't too good either yeah. I'm not too sure about that one yeah, but I think it was, no, it was not due to the game so um yeah here on, so we here, here on lap 2 is finishing the second sector we can't I mean we can't keep up with Tigger as Marco okay, really yeah the leaves the session I think he's just destroyed his vehicle on that turn 3 on the inside uh, wall oh, where all almost destroyed my car in the Q in the Q3 lap so um, yeah but it seems like and um, the field is uh, spreading out quite heavily yeah. here we can't keep up with Tigger as expected and uh, Fugutaro <laughs> can't keep up with us at the moment 2.2 seconds the gap to Tigger so it was 8 tenths faster on that first 17 uh, on that first flying lap than I was then the wall and uh, yeah, now on lap 3 I guess, just try to set into a rhythm, not do any mistakes, now on lap 4, skipping one lap, and we're, uh, we're losing ground again, and Chicane also, um, I think he raced in season 8, Yes, and I think, yeah, safety car is deployed because of that crash from Chicane, and now we have to keep it in the delta time until the safety car is coming out at the end of this lap. <laughs> And now that could change some. Um, 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 I mean, 
that's possible to make some strategy change here. And I'm doing that exactly. Um, I'm going into right. the pits now to s put on the soft tires. Because I want to make that two stop work. I, th I think, it, I mean, in hindsight, I could have gone onto the onto the medium tires and could have ended the race there if, the, if it wouldn't rain in the end. But uh, don't really, I mean, it doesn't really matter now on the soft tires and we have to do one uh, more stop. And Tigger, uh, who didn't pit actually, and Raven didn't pit as well. So we are only losing one position to Raven, which is not too bad, I guess. Uh, but Raven pitted uh, at the end of the next lap. Behind the safety car, so he lost uh, some more uh, more positions than I did. And now, uh, well, now actually something very strange ha is happening. Uh, Tiga gets slowed down by the game. He can't control his car now. He's going full throttle, but the game is controlling basically his pace. And uh, well, I just thought at this moment, okay, he's slowing down, just that he doesn't accelerate too early, that I can't, I can't overtake him with the slipstream. But it actually wasn't the case. He was trying to. Uh, accelerate, but uh, it didn't work. So um, yeah, that was quite interesting. <laughs> Fugatara, I think, behind has pitted as Why well. So um, see how that uh, restart is uh, going on the way now as Tiga now gets released from the game. And here we go to into turn one. Fugutaro breaking a little bit later here on the inside. We will leave him the room. Not the best exit out of there, but still side by side Fugatara, and we're trying to break a little bit later because because we want to keep that position. As it seemed like in the first opening lap that we were faster than uh, the guys behind us and we maintain P2 for the moment for the moment and now um, I think we should be able to keep it with Tigger reasonably well because his tires are now uh, way way older than mine although it's on the super softs we should be able to keep it with him until he um, pits for the first time and then it will be curious to see on which tires he's going on if he is going on to the medium tires, he possibly can end the race and we will have to basically win that over pace and tire advantage we have got with uh, uh, with po maybe changing to the super softs in the end if we are managing the tire life um, enough. Uh, at the moment it seems like yeah, we are out of the DRS range but we are not losing time to him. So that's good to see in Fugataro, not too far behind as well. Of course now on the same tires as I am. Here we go then oh. around the final braking zone for lap Damn. 7. And yeah, we're all, we are just about out of the DRS range of Tigra and Fugataro is just about out of the DRS range of us. And we're going a little bit wide. Oh, Tigra slammed the wall and he's out of the race. That's the end of the race for Tirano Tigra as well. Very surprising that I mean these corners are very very uh, uh, tricky and look at this Ryan out of the race, What's Adrenaline happening? out of the race. So everyone is uh, basically crashing out at the moment. Only nine drivers left now. So um, yeah, I mean it really is the simulation demonstration that is harming this grade at the moment. It's really difficult. It's uh, yeah, it's reasonably difficult to um, handle that around this circuit. Especially as it's also a new circuit and a new game, only the third day on the game, I mean, it's not really much, is it? So, really, it's all about finding finding a level where you can drive aggressive and fast, but also, um, yeah, driving a little bit of margin behind that you're actually um, not slamming any walls. But it will be curious to see how it develops in the next socials because, I mean, at the moment it is quite a lot of people who are um, losing their their races because it's a simulation damage. So it will be curious to see how they try, uh, how we will cope in the next social race with that. And if it, I mean, if it if it if it doesn't get better, focus, if, focus. Uh, it's obviously it's uh, obvious that we won't probably won't. Um, do the simulation damage uh, in uh, league racing but I would, I would like it I guess for the top split if it works in the end but uh, I mean definitely if it if it is too if it if, if it is too difficult sometimes to manage for the majority of the field and of course 
it is definitely not the right choice and it's not really fun is it now with five drivers left on lap 12 and actually Microlander was catching us a little bit I think he's on the second stint as well on the super soft he was catch uh, catching us a little bit on his better tires and we're now going into the bits for a for an early pit stop because we don't want to um fall behind him or, or he attack us so we will now go on to the mediums and now try to finish the race on them if it doesn't rain and uh, that means of course that we're now dropping back to oh, last like place but I think the only one who's now on the medium tires in front is Raven oh, and it could be that Raven is the only one who do doesn't have to put on another set of tires I think all the drivers in front now have to uh, do another stop and here we go then on lap 16 we were behind Raven and uh, worth mentioning uh, Raven is of course from the USA so his connection is of course not the best to mine but um, yeah it doesn't seem to lag although I mean he's like driving 1.5 seconds in front of me but uh, I mean in previous games it wouldn't have it would have been noticeable already that he's uh, not living too close to me I guess so um, that's um, I think a good sign as well. I also, also not that that's in some uh, um, just some custom lobbies, and um, that people from America or just from all around the world were not lagging as much as uh, as in the previous games, or just people with bad internet connection who couldn't race on couldn't race online on uh, the games before. So I think Curve Masters have done a good job on the on the online connection this year. Although I mean. With dedicated servers, it would have been way, way better, like on Project Cars. But I mean, I think for um, an online for an for an online race um, where you can't use dedicated servers, you can't really do much uh, better than this is uh, yeah than this at the moment. So I think they've done a reasonable job. As Raven now hits the wall as well. Overtake, overtaking him so yeah that's uh, unfortunate for his race as well because now he I mean yeah I think he ha will have to pit and I think yeah Micro Lander pitted a couple of laps ago on front of Supersoft and Fugotaro now in the lead but he possibly has to pit as well and now we are making a big jump to lap 22 and actually nothing really happened um, well I, th I think yeah Ke uh, Kerry um, destroyed his vehicle a couple of laps ago Raven destroyed his vehicle, so there are only three people left, uh, Fugotaro and Marco Landa and me, and I've got a bit on eight seconds now, so it should be pretty safe, although Fugotaro is on the super soft, but now it has started to rain, and look at this, this, this corner is not quite full throttle anymore, and the guys are battling behind me. They're gonna go through there, they're surely gonna try, Marco Landa, oh, he's gonna, oh, he's out of the race, both of them are close! <laughs> nice reaction there from Vizzy who's still in the TS with me and just uh, spectating uh, us but now well Michael and in Fukutar both decided to go full ag full aggressiveness into this section and both destroyed their vehicle so yeah I am now the only one who's left in this race in the end I wouldn't have expected that of course I expected that I mean maybe half of the uh, grid or something would uh, not finish the race because they would crash or something would just give up but uh, <laughs> didn't think that uh, I would be the only one in the end to finish the race and I've been only uh, I mean I have been close a couple of times to destroy my vehicle I have to say with the walls on the inside especially now DRS is disabled so we definitely have to pit oh my god we're locking up so badly Oh my god. Yeah, now we are having damage on the front wing. Look at this, this tiny, tiny wall contact made damage on our front wing. That's uh, quite interesting. And we will definitely... Oh god, yeah, yeah. Okay, now it's all kicking off here. Rear tires are also um, overheating now for some reason. Now they're getting colder and colder and colder. So, yeah, we definitely have to pit for the Inters this time round. And here we go then, very, very cautiously now. Very, very cautiously. Around this corner as well. Driving too late. And it's really, really di difficult because 
I just noticed that the switch over point is quite late and you have to really uh, stay out with the dry tires quite a lot to get into the operating systems of the intermediate so it's very yeah, the transition between wet and dry is uh, way more tricky to handle than in previous games as well the wet in general but I haven't done any wet laps on this track so far oh my god we're locking up into the pit lane oh we're all, all, uh, making a little bit of contact with the wall but luckily not hitting the wheel on that otherwise we would have lost it but yeah, now this lap coming a little bit close to destroying her vehicle, but now, I mean, uh, going into intermediate, stranging the front wing, I mean, now only three laps left and just can be bothered to um, give up now and just, uh, I think, we'll finish this race. That's the only uh, one uh, left. Yeah. <laughs> So coming out of the pits now and I think I will show the final lap sort of just to see show you how it is to drive in the rain sort of I was reasonably cautious I guess so breaking quite early and not to pulling putting down the, the power too much in order not to get too much wheel spin and not be losing the car the traction but yeah I have to say I really I mean I really enjoyed to drive in the rain as I said that before in another video this year not only because it's more challenging but also I feel like I'm more competitive with this you sort of rain conditions than in previous games because it was I was especially in 2013 I was so bad in the rain I was so off the pace all the time now I think that's uh, over definitely better and you can see a little bit of engine wear actually now because it's letting a little bit of lighter green going in transition of yellow so that definitely I think that's come from the da that comes from the downshift into turn one but I uh, downshifted quite aggressively other than that I wasn't that aggressive on the gears I guess only on the downshift not on the upshift doesn't really I mean it's not really good if you're uh, <laughs> aggressive on the upshift uh, anyway because you <laughs> will lose more time than you will gain if you upshift late and here we go then Cautious with the final two corners, and we will win this uh, socialist one. one. To the Only to win the first ever AOR PC social race round back in. <clears throat> what a performance! Thanks, Fizzy, for that. <laughs> it, was, it was quite nice having some guys as well as just spectating you, and always when you're coming close to the wall and going, like, Oh my god! It's getting close, oh, getting close close people and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, everyone else left the session except, I think, Ryan, Fizzy, and Neil? Yes, it was. Uh, I think so, at least. So, um, yeah, that was it from this session. You can also here see here the race director. I'm not listed in that one. Of, uh, damn, a couple of uh, incidents in the first couple of laps. I mean, yeah, we all have to get used to the game and stuff like that, so we definitely have to do some more practice in order to uh, improve that. But I will see you in the next video there, and I hope nice. you enjoyed it, and uh, see you there. Bye-bye.